<laughs> Thank you very much for joining me for my lunch break, friends. And welcome to the City of Electric Sheep. Today, oh my gosh, this is a day that I've been waiting for for a while. We are starting on the burrow. Let's go. <laughs> I actually have not even opened it up yet. I wanted to wait to do it on stream with y'all. Uh, it's too big. I can't I can't keep the box on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I so I've got kind of like a, a bit of a road map, right? So um, there are a few things that I have that I haven't um, built yet. So um, like the Monster Book of Monsters and the sheep stuff and stuff like that. Um, those were kind of like smaller stuff to kind of break up stuff in between. This one will take a little while. And then it'll be um, kind of making older things that I've already made before. So I'm, I'm excited to build the things. And it is great to see you, Scooty, Mickabooty, and Tow Truck. But now, like Elmo mentioned, it is time for the unboxing. <laughs> oh. Yo, thank you for the lurk and the follow, Dead Moon, and welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> now, do, do not run with this. Blade uh, safety is important. <laughs> it's, it's so big, I don't even know where to put it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Oh, oh, yo, and Meowdy misses Tow Truck as well. There we go. I like to actually put that in kind of where it's supposed to go. Peep that out. <laughs> but yeah, this is much too large. Much, much too large. Let's see. There-ish? No. I'll have to go there. So we've got... How many bags? This is bag number five, six, <laughs> four, uh, seven. <laughs> it is exactly like Christmas all over again. Let's go. Three. Random plates. Not random plates. Two. And, of course, we will be starting with bag number one. And the instructions. So we actually will be having the instructions on screen. So we don't need these kind of unboxed. But we do need from this piece. We do need our stickers. Check it. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the lurk, tow truck. So this is our instruction, um, I'd say booklet, but uh, book. This is our instruction novel. This is the uh, eighth Harry Potter book. <laughs> yeah, more stickers. Luckily, this one doesn't seem like it's too bad. Like, it looks like this is some, like, window decals, which makes sense. And then, like, posters. Eh. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> the sacred texts. Exactly. Um, so let's kind of clean up our area over here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up because I know that it'll call for plates at random times. Put that one kind of out of the way. And... Boom. 
but we will be starting with bag number one. And so it look, we've got our instructions on screen. Let's go, which will tell us. So, so here's how each of these will go down. Oh, wrong side. So part one, a couple mini figs. Part two, a couple more. So we just keep on building on and on and on until eventually we have the burrow as a whole. And like I said, we will randomly need different plates. Part one actually requires three of them. So we'll go ahead and snag those and open the bag. Oh. So I love the kind of like recent trend for Legos where they put different colored brick separators. So this one's kind of a teal color. Much like it's neat. Oh, we got a piggy in this bag. Cool. And our smaller bag. Make sure it's empty. Yo, meowdy, bro. And welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> okay. So we start with, that is Mrs. Weasley's head. We're not gonna put Mrs. Weasley's head on, is that Mr. Weasley or is that Ron? We shall see. So we got Mrs. Weasley's head. She can be mildly happy or really happy. We're gonna go with really happy. Yeah, we're gonna go with really happy. She's got her hair. And the thing, <laughs> uh, dress. And then we got, I think this, this looks like Mr. Weasley. This has got to be Arthur. Got to be Arthur. Because he's got some little bags under his eyes. But, yo! Rue, thank you so much for resubbing, friend, and welcome back <coughs> to the flock. I appreciate the love and support, my friend. And whoa, that's like month two. Let's go of the uh, sub that I gifted. Nice. <laughs> So it looks like they both actually use the same color wand. Oftentimes we'll get multiple of the um, kind of wand things and we'll get a chance to do that thing. So we got Arthur, put him next to the sheep. And then we've got Molly. Arthur and Molly. It, Oftentimes, and it doesn't this time, but oftentimes it'll tell us to put it in their left hand, and it's like, they're not left-handed, that, that character, though. We got Molly. She'll go there, too. And we're starting off with one of the plates. And it's kind of oriented awkwardly on the instructions, but all right. So we're building the foundations, literally and figuratively, of the burrow. Huh. Foundations are being built right now. And just two of these ones to kind of pull it in. And we get, oh, so this one, we've got a little piggy. As I just accidentally throw it. <laughs> we got a little piggy in this one, so I bet that we're making the little, like, sty right now. This is probably the outside bit. If I was a betting sheep. And funny enough, 
This actually does not come with a sheep minifigure. So there is um, like a, a goat minifig in one like set that has like just recently retired and it's crazy expensive the the set is it didn't used to be but like i think apparently you know like people just really like goats these days question mark a regular aberforth dumbledore there am i right uh, <laughs> but uh jim mccollum's the uh that set has become crazy expensive because it's got that goat and um yeah, I'm hopeful that eventually we'll get like a, a sheep minifig, but <laughs> most items that are put in their left hands across all sets and themes, but sometimes you see them holding the same item in their right on the box and or front of instructions. Yeah, I've noticed that too, that, that the vast majority of the times, like in the instructions, it tells you to put them in, in the left hand, which is, you know, fine. My, you know, wife is left-handed. She's awesome. Nothing but good things to say about left-handed people. But whenever you know that the character isn't left-handed, then it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to put it in their right hand. Regardless of what the instructions say. That's right. I go on my own. I go rebel. Go renegade. So we got that, buddy, and our piggy. We immediately put the piggy in. He is in his little, little sty. He's chilling over there. Rose a lefty too. Check it. Nice. You are in a very good company. There's a lot of stuff going on in this one. Got two of those. One of those. A lot of different, I mean, not random, but a lot of different assorted pieces in this one. Definitely not random. And this one. Oh, what did I accidentally hit? I accidentally pushed a button. <laughs> what has science done? Okay. So we're building some sort of, oh, we're building a gate. That's what we're building. I see it. I see it. The gate is being built by us. That makes sense. So we've got our gate right there. And the other end of the gate there. Cool. Then we switch it around. Actually, I'm not going to do that because now it's oriented correctly for y'all. And go ahead and put these in here. So now we've got the, whatchamacallit, um, kind of like crest of the, um, the fence. Crest isn't the right word, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Rose, uh, CDO or OCD kicks into hyperdrive when they show both left and right. Like, make up your mind or don't use mirror images. Yeah, just be consistent. Yeah, and, and like, I, I, you know, personally sometimes use my left hands for things and sometimes use my right. But whenever it's like one way on the um, the box and another way not on the box, and it's like just just be consistent. <laughs> okay, so the these go one in on both. This goes on the side that is not associated with a little ladder. So that's got. Two. Perfect. Ooh, and now we use the darker gray. That. 
So it comes up one short. Yeah. Bah, consistent. Exactly. <laughs> it's all about consistency. You know it. So this one uses the um, strategy where instead of putting it on one of the dots, you put it kind of like in the middle between the dots using the all the different stud heads to kind of support it right in there. Which I, find, I, I like that. It's a little odd that we're using it in a number of different places though. I imagine that that'll come up in this step. <laughs> Yo, meowdy admon, and welcome to the city of electric sheep. Oh, those are both heads. Go ahead and put both of these in since I've got both of them. May as well. So we've got those, two of these, and one of, where'd it go? The ones with a little bit on the end. Here it is. That's where it went, right there. And tossing those buddies in. So we've got a little bit of the yard. And here is where the, um, these duders being in the, oh no, it's those duders being in the middle will actually be paying off, it would seem. So these buddies kind of go towards the middle, which outlines exactly where that goes. So here's the payoff for putting those not in the thing. So it makes it go in right to the middle of one of those, which is kind of cool. I bet that there's like a structural reason for that. Meanwhile, I'm just like, neat, click. <laughs> so we're going to put this bit aside for a little bit and use one of our other panels. And put some of the foundations of the actual house, it would seem, this time over here. We're actually starting the house proper. Let's go. Let's a freaking go. Um, so that'll need to be one lower. So we got our house building going. And those buddies too. Oh. So I imagine this will be like the kitchen or something. I don't know. We're definitely in the early, early, early phases of this. A little foolish to guess at this point, probably. <laughs> okay, so we need a couple of these, one of these, and one of these. That's helpful. Okay. And we outline them there, and outline them there. Two in the middle, catty corner there. Everything is working as intended. And that does in fact connect to the yard with the yards connection. And we have this one being on the outside. Oh. So now, to add a little bit more kind of outside elements, looks like there will be a door right here. Is that the only thing on that one? Yeah. Two of these, one of these. Okay, so I mentioned it earlier, um, particularly uh, to Ro, that this was 
this is a set that I have some issues with. Now, now the, the burrow itself, amazing, beautiful. I, from the pictures that I've seen, they've done an amazing job with it, and I can't wait to have that as part of my collection. The fact that it's got Bellatrix and Fenrir Greyback, why? Why? <laughs> that, that part is completely unnecessary. <laughs> This, there's no stud overlap here? Question mark? Ah, oh, because I put this in slightly the wrong spot. No, that was in the right spot. Hold on. This is in the wrong spot, huh? No? I am confusion. Oh yes, this was in the wrong spot. Was this in the wrong spot? I'm very confused about the building element here. Okay, let's let's come back to here because this seems to be an issue. Let's see. So this, yeah, there's only one stud right there. Okay, so that goes there. Easy. Is it just perspective? What's going on here? Because... Nope, I'm just dumb. <laughs> yeah. That was just a foolish mistake on my part. Carry on. <laughs> nope. I just put this one over one too far. Oops. But yeah, like Admon is saying, gotta waste those minutes on things that aren't in the book and add nothing to the plot in order to... do nothing. Well, not only that, but in my opinion, it actually actively detracts from the plot. So if the burrow did not have sufficient um, protections, why didn't Voldemort show up? Voldemort said on numerous occasions, I want to be the one to, to destroy the boy who lived. Like, I want to be the one to get the Potter boy. Like, let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him, right? Like, Voldemort said that. So if he knows the, that Harry Potter is at the burrow. Why is he not showing up? <laughs> like, wh what? <laughs> Yo, meow the exhibit. And welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. So it like actively introduces a plot hole that did not need to be there. The book has, the book series has, has enough plot holes by itself, which is fine. Like it's a book series. They're gonna, gonna have those. Why actively introduce one that did not need to be there? Why? And you know, fear of the name only increases fear of the thing itself. So I will say you know whose name. I'm gonna do it. Don't think I won't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, I'm just not sure why that element is included. Now, that said, I am very excited to have Fenrir Greyback as a uh, a minifig. Like I'm very excited to have that that um, in as part of my collection. But it didn't need to be in this set. Like, wh why? So I have all of the um, Harry Potter CMFs as well. One of these days at lunch, I may, um, instead of build, just kind of like show off some like collection bits. That'd be fun. Um, and so I have Bellatrix Lestrange because she's part of that. 
I don't think that Fenrir Greyback is. Just don't put Greyback near a Lavender Brown Le Lego Mini. I'm dra drawing a Blake on why that's clever, but I can tell that that's clever in a way that I'm just not connecting right meow. Wait, he... He did? What? I don't know why. I did not realize that. I, I mean, I'm sure you're right. I don't think about Lavender Brown very much. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, I wholeheartedly believe you. I just had completely forgotten that. And I recently re-listened to that book, too. Like, just finished re-listening to it less than a month ago. Completely forgot that that was an element. <laughs> Shows how much I think about Lavender Brown. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a comfy chair as well. Aww. And the last foundational element. So this looks like it's just the bare bones because this this is as many pieces as we have left in the first bag, and some of these are going to be just leftovers. So then all of this will go whoop, right there. Cool. So that it connects like that. Do add this element to enforce that connection. Oh, it may have been a movie thing as well. That makes sense too. I don't know, really like so much happens at that part of the book that it could have just been that I I missed it <laughs> in my re-listen because I don't really pay much attention to Lavender Brown. <laughs> Okay. Practice knife safety. Away from the body. Oh, and this has two smaller bags. As well as all those. Oh, I straighten it out like I'm saving it, but like I'm putting it in the trash. <laughs> and knife safety. And knife safety once more. I want to say that this is Tonks that we're building right now. I want to say that this is Tonks. What does the front of the box say? Because the front of the box, yep, says that it's Nymphadora Tonks. Front of the box details which minifigs correspond to which characters, which is kind of cool. Kind of neat. Okay, so we got our heads. 
We've got our torsos. One. There's some hair. There's Tonks's hair. There's the other torso. And legs. Okay. So the legs are both black. Then this is Tonks' face. She's got one side that's happy and one side that's, oh, she's mad. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna have Tonks be happy. I like to think that Tonks would, would be a happy person most of the time. If you know, things did not happen to her, unfortunately. And so it looks like the way that they've chosen to distribute the minifigs correspond, correspond to what wand color they have. So like Tonks and Ron seem like an odd pairing to include in a bag, but it makes sense if they have them both have the same color wand because Ron and Mrs. Weasley have different color wands, stuff like that. <laughs> you could say that any of the Lego pieces are Tonks. That's very true. <laughs> could. <laughs> you could definitely make that argument. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. <laughs> so she's a metamorph magi. Okay, so now we're actually starting to build the frame. And we get to bust into our... Oh, and these are not actually... Um, 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 window pieces. They are... I'm not sure exactly where that is, actually like pen pieces looks like that's like the um, pigsty pig pen and this one right there so I get in the zone whenever I'm putting on uh, <laughs> The uh, stickers, because stickers are pretty much a one and done affair. If you mess it up, looks like you got a messed up sticker now, I guess. Okay. Like you can peel it off a little bit, but if you peel it off once, then it just doesn't, it doesn't stick you quite as well. And it ends up coming out a lot easier. So, for all intents and purposes, stickers are one and done affairs. Speaking of, so this one is in fact window decals. So we've got 19 and 18. So we'll start with 19. And it has us apply it to the outside, not the inside. Solid. So that's 19. And 19 goes right here. And 18. Oh, Rose got the Minecraft wool farm. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I really at some point need to get me like I've, I've got my, my sheet brick heads, but at some point I'm going to have to acquire. A Lego minifig sheep. Oh, that was unfortunately not my best sticker uh, application. It wasn't terrible, but I won't be looking at that and going, yeah, that was a good sticker. Yeah. Which, yeah, sometimes I do. It's kind of uh, unfortunate. <laughs> 
A lot of colorful sheep. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. So we got little bits right there. And now we get to make, here, I'll flip this around this way so y'all can see it a bit better. Oh. Okay, so now we're gonna make a lamp. This one and so it does in fact use one of these buddies. Oh, made the sheet building into a parrot. That's cool. I love it whenever sets are versatile like that. And that is what that extra side stead was for. Now we get to make the little side table lamp. Lamp, candles. Candles. There we go. Into these. Oh, this is the ones where they go inside, so it's upside down. Duh. And we get the flames. As long as the flames are a consistent direction, then I can orient it whichever way to match. So we got those. Those go on the side table beside. Looks like one from the oh, one from the front. So like there-ish. The flames are going pointed away. Perfect. Alright, a couple more. Window pieces. And there's the glass. Make sure that we're putting the correct side in. And we of course get to add some more stained glass to it. So this is 20 and 17. So we'll do 20 first. So 20 does in fact have the trellising bit at the bottom. And 20 will go on the left side. So that is my right, since I have it backwards for me. And 17 oh, will go on much better sticker application on the right side which is my left do this five times <laughs> okay I love whenever I see those and I'm like, well, all right. I mean, I know that it's because they need one plate's worth taller. And introducing like one that is one plate's worth taller would be foolish, but it always feels funny whenever it's like, okay, make a piece. <laughs> Okay, so this is on top of that one. And oh, I see. Curious. Very curious. Very, very curious. I wonder why for the two that are side by side, they didn't have us do um, a one by two, um, whatchamacallit, that's helpful, um, plate 
Really, and just brick, too, actually. Seems like a weird choice. Maybe there's a reason, but it seems odd. Seems very odd. Okay, there we go. And now we get to do some more of the outer bits again. So this is number 14. Sticker 14. Nailed it. And sticker 14 goes towards the stuff right there. Yeah, S and Z stickers. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, S and Z. Because they kind of S and Z. That is a very good way to phrase it. 14 and 15 with 14. Yep. 14 being the Z, 15 being the S. There we go. And another window. <laughs> But wait, there's more. So this is the last bit of that like stained glass um, sticker that we have in this entire set. There we go. And so that one will go right there. How many pieces does this set contain? This set contains 1,047 pieces. Oh, Yeah, we're gonna finish with the second bag today. And it doesn't seem like we've made a whole lot of like physical um, progress. Because we've, you know, we've made our, our foundation and stuff like that. But, oh, and we need one more. So two, the other one goes here. So part of that is because um, this contains a lot of, um, what you call it, like features, like a, a lot of um, features isn't the word I was looking for, um, kind of like details. Like it, it's got a lot of those, those different um, yeah, features make sense, but accents that that kind of really, really make that shine. I really like it whenever they include a lot, a lot of those details that you know. It's like, oh, and there's this, and there's that. Um, some of the stickers that we'll do going forward are like, um. You know, oh, there's whenever they went on their trip to Egypt and stuff like that. So a lot of those are pretty cool. Okay, so we only need two of these, not three. We did need three of these, two of these, and one of the longer ones. Okay. Okay. Did you know that... If you buy Lego sets in most of Europe, they don't put the piece count on the boxes. I did not know that. That's a pretty cool little uh, bit of trivia there, not gonna lie. I legit did not, was unaware of that. I wonder why that is. Oh, this is why, duh, whenever earlier I was like, I'm sure there's a reason. This is why, because that it pulls apart. That was why earlier they did not um, have the uh, things be a, a one by two panel or brick. Now we know. Yo, yeah. Yegdagen, thank you very much for the follow and welcome. <laughs> To the city of electric sheep. I apologize if I messed up your um, username. If you feel strongly about it, please tell me a pronunciation guide in chat. Oh. 
Okay. Nice try. Yes. <laughs> I had a valiant effort. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, positive vibes. <laughs> Even if it's like a pat on the head. You try, champ. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, oh, they're brown. No wonder I was looking for not brown. So it'll go away with that on that side. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. And then the studs facing out. Yo, have fun, Exhibit. Thank you very much for dropping by, buddy. I really appreciate your positive vibes, man. And as always, you stay Exhibit 1200. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the way that I pronounce it at least does kind of uh, sound like a, a Pokemon name. How the proper pronunciation may may not. The way the way that I pronounced it totally sounded like a Pokemon name though. <laughs> okay. So with those going out. That being towards the windows. Confirmed. Everything is working as intended. Everything is working as intended. Okay, so this reinforces that hinge. And then we just add that on the end. Cool. And we get, I go ahead. Yeah, I already did. Cool. Two of these, one on top of the other. I go at the end here, and one of these right next to it. Yes, right next to it. And easy peasy. That goes on top of the duder we just built kind of connects them to the rest right there and then we get to grab two oh these are white panels i was looking for like the uh smaller windows i was looking for those that would have been incorrect and we get to put on three and four so these are kind of like posters or um, bits of art that they're hanging up. Nope, that was not great. Mm -hmm. There we go. The first time I did it was bad. The second one, decent. <laughs> so that'll be on the right and then four is like a little pony yeah applying the stickers is always stressful got that one first try nailed it Cause it's like you mess up putting that sticker on and you're like oh no <laughs> I don't even know like if you can buy replacement stickers or if you just have to like request them and like hope that they take pity on you um, just be like yeah I messed it up I'd be willing to pay for it but like <laughs> I don't know if that's even a thing <laughs> I honestly don't <laughs> So I'm hoping 
after I get my other camera that I can have one cam being like a build cam and then the other one being for my face. I'm gonna have to play around with it whenever we get, get there. Soon, trademark. Next month. <laughs> okay, so this adds those kind of making it like a little shelf right there and then this buddy goes in the middle okay so we got a number of assorted pieces on this one so we've got this and this Whenever it's like a number of different ones, I, I grab them before I put them in just because I don't want to miss a piece. Oh, that's a, this one. It's like, what even is that? There we go. Okay. So we are making the, um, Sink. Putting that sink on in there. Well, that one was wrong, wasn't it? No, that one was right. Ah, curious. Okay. So what I found curious there was, oops, there is the little um, cross plate in the middle. You can see it right there. There's actually an open space. So that, that's why I was like, wait, what? Because <laughs> typically whenever you put a Lego down, like, it's not open at the bottom. <laughs> typically. Not always the case. Not always the case. Case in point. This one. Okay, so this is just the kind of like dark sand color. And green for the base and transparent middles. Got those two and a bottle. So bottle on the outside, green in the middle, and red on the inside. One of these buddies, two of these buddies for the taps, and oh, that's a kettle. Okay, cool. So we've got the kettle on the end over here, which y'all can barely see. Got our taps, which is curious because the faucet itself has taps. <laughs> But okay. So that one has them kind of going into the middle-ish. And then that buddy on the outside, and it does go above. Or not taps, handles. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> handles. I used the wrong word there. That was me. Two, four, six of these and they basically go a little bit of everywhere so I'm gonna move the, these over here so that I can get a look at it real quick and put them in the correct spots and one in between those two perfect and the same thing looks like right 
here. One in between, one in between. That is two away. Oh, they were right. That was taps. Nailed it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Didn't mess it up. Nouns are sometimes hard because of my ADHD. Not gonna lie. <laughs> sometimes I mix up nouns. Nouns in particular. Not sure why, but it is pretty much always nouns. Verbs, never have an issue with. I mean, not never, but you know what I mean. Rarely. Okay, quite a bit of different these. So we've got one of each of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing the white one. There we go. Okay, so the white one goes there. I guess it's less important which one of these goes where because it's kind of, um, the point is that they're a little bit mismatched, right? Like that is actively the point. That's one of those like small details that doesn't mean a lot, but really does. Oh, you replaced the teapot for Mrs. Potts and Chip from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, you didn't tell me about that row. That's awesome. I really like that. That's one of those like little details that you can change that makes something just like uniquely yours and have like a different flair onto it. I love whenever I'm able to do that with, with um, a set. Always makes me happy. Always makes me happy. Ooh. So this is the table. This is the table that we're making right now. So one side are eggy wags. And this one has all of the um, yolks being like in the same direction. I'm actively mismatching them actively putting them in different areas. Oh, the ship itself has many details and storytelling from all seasons. I love that too. That is awesome. I love whenever they kind of include a whole bunch of different um, kind of storytelling elements and stuff to like that to builds like that. That makes them special. Okay, so four teacups. One, two, oh, it's got three in between the two, three, and four at the very end, and two mugs, both of them are, so these whole things basically mirror each other with the mirror down uh, this way. Basically mirror each other. At least at this point, now we introduce an element that throws a wrench into that. That statement that I literally just made. <laughs> so we've got that. We've got what a cone. And these buddies. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's all of the elements. And these actually kind of continue with that mirroring because they go in the middle. Interesting. Yo, Meowdy! Simple Jack! Meowdy, and welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. Okay, so the eggs go on the side with the blue. We just make sure that it is in the center. There they are, being able to eat their breakfast. So I won't be able to hold this up for much longer because it will be um, too unstable to do. <laughs> How are you doing, Simple Jack? Good to see you, friend. We've got some plants. There we go. 
These are not mandrakes. These are not mandrakes. Not even a little bit. Come on. There. Nope. Typically, whenever they do these things, they kind of go down towards the middle. This one has a lip at the very end, which makes it just a little awkward. Those go right on in there. Ahar. And now we get to make some more windows. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of the window pieces into the windows now rather than it on the step that they uh, actually go in because that way we don't have to worry about it. Workout done. Time to initiate the laundry sequence. Noise. No ice noise. <laughs> And got him. So the ledge on this window goes with the um, small window side, not the big one. And we put that buddy with the ledge. Nope, not there. Here. Ledge out. And now, here's where it starts coming together. Here's where it really starts coming together. Okay, so we've got two of these. I'm going to start from the middle so that we don't mess anything up. So we got these two into these two. This one alternates first. And then it alternates back. This one actually alternates into there. Got three more of these buddies. One of these. Ah, and two individual studs. So one of them goes there. The other one will go at the end here. When we get there, right there, it's that outer wall. So this one, we've got, oh, stop that, flip it and reverse it. There we go. Going out that way. Pop the doorknob onto it. And door opens out for fire safety. <laughs> for fire safety. Then we finish this bag off with that. Got a decent amount left over on this one. Got some eggs, some waffles, multiple waffles. Nope. A lot of just random little bits that are left over on this one. So here is where we finish up for the day. Let's show our little hand box. Get a zoomed in bit. Oh. So here is where we are going to have to end it for the day. So we've got this bit comes out. So whenever we do have it displayed like that, that'll be able to come out. And one thing I did not realize was that this whole bit 
can also swivel out. So everything that I've seen has not mentioned that. So there's actually a stud right, and that keeps on falling over. There's a stud right in there that actually straight up connects. Um, so it snaps in. So really kind of interesting uh, way that they did that. I'm not sure if that snaps in because like it's not supposed to come out and that's why I haven't seen it mentioned anywhere. That could be the case. That was upside down. That would be why that wasn't connecting. Come on. Wow. Everything is messed up. <laughs> yeah, so th those extra features, that that's one of those extra features that definitely puts sets like this. It makes it go from like a really cool thing to have to like, oh, I'm really glad that I have that as part of my collection. <laughs> Table flip. Everything is messed up. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me for my lunch break. I really appreciate you hanging out with me while we built the first part of the burrow. <laughs> oh, and yeah, we did legitimately flip the Lego table. <laughs> You're 100% correct. Table flip. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me for my lunch break. I appreciate getting to hang out with y'all. It is one of the highlights of my day. I truly mean that. It's always a blast. So thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, you stay electric, Sheep City. <laughs>